In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create jigsaw puzzle design in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click the first puzzle comes, you can put the number here and you can add some detailed text. When I click with a different color, the second jigsaw puzzle comes with option 2 and the detailed text like this 3, 4 and 5. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 and 2010 some features are not available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial so today I'm going to show you how to create this kind of a jigsaw puzzle uh, design in PowerPoint. Uh, first of all, add a new slide, then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle, depending on your requirement by holding the shift key, and then make sure to align center, align middle. All right, and then I'm going to add four four more so just hold the control shift key you can see here you can if you want you can give some space also no problem so select the second one and then i'm just going to drag it by holding the control shift key so this is the four and then i'm just selecting one and i'm going to make it five you can see here total five design i have made okay now once this is done i'm just going to add one oval shape here select the oval shape draw the oval shape okay like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some other color so what we need to do is every for every box we need to add these three shapes okay so this is the first place where we need to put it exactly in the center hold the control shift key put it down so you have to make sure that some one uh, half portion is outside and half portion is on the top of this uh, rectangle shape okay and then the same thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold the control shift key and i'm going to put it here again control shift key put it here control shift key put it here and then control shift key put it here and then i'm going to select this one press control d to duplicate rotate it and put it here again half on this particular object and half on this one okay same thing goes with this hold the control shift key put it in the center again hold the control shift key put it in the center hold the control shift key put it in the center so you can see here i have made a design something like this now you can see here the top part i have subtracted it okay so same thing you need to do it so select this shape hold the shift key select only the top part the this one only this shape oval shape merge shape and subtract it now i'm selecting this one and this one i have to make it a union so it look like this and this also is a part of uh, there's a first one so i'm selecting this one and this one and for this also i'm going to make it union okay let's give some different color here later on we can change it all right now let me just do the same thing so i'm just selecting this one so this time here we need to join it okay merge it so select this one and this one merge shapes and make it union and this one and this one merge shape you can subtract it again this one and this one you need to union it okay and give some different color combination all right now let's see here the same thing what we did here we have to do it similar here select this one and this one merge shape and subtract select this and this oval shape merge shape and make it a union and this one and this one make it again a union and give some different color combination maybe i'm going to give a red now again let's follow this and this merge shape union again subtract this one and union this one all right and give some different color maybe i'm going to give some pink and this one i have to subtract it and this one i have to union it all right now the problem is if i bring this to front so this is okay all right now if i just put this also to front the moment i put it front this is going 
you can see here so what we need to do is simple so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this particular shape okay and then I'm going to cut this part so for that I'm selecting this one press ctrl D to duplicate and put it exactly at the top of this select this and this merge shape I'm going to subtract it let me just do it again select this shape and this shape merge shape and subtract it so what happened now can you see here this also has been added here all right now the same thing I have to do it for this also all right so I'm just going to select this one press ctrl D to duplicate and put it exactly on the top of that one okay and select this shape and this shape and make it subtract so again we have got a hole here all right and then press ctrl D put it here exactly select this one and this one more shape subtract and at the end last one this one I'm just going to duplicate this one and this one and subtract it so you can see here I don't need to go do the bring to front or bring to back alright so once this is done let me just delete I don't need this one so what I'm going to do is I can remove the outlines I don't need outlines here and if you want you can give some 3d object here go to the format object go to the effects go to the 3d format and top be well you can just choose anything can you see here it looks like this and here go to insert text box and I'm going to type option number one zero one make it bold increase the size put this one here one press ctrl D and this one will come here the right align you can see here this one I can just simply copy and paste it here and this one I can put it here as well as here or I can just change the direction to this also okay so this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five all right so now let me just group this part ctrl g can select this one and this one ctrl g select this and this ctrl g and ctrl g all right so you can see here our design is ready and then it's up to you to add some detailed text so go to insert text box and add detail text here maybe for this detail text i'm going to put it here it's up to you press ctrl d this will come here at the top ctrl d this will be here or then i can just simply use this one ctrl shift key bring it here and this also ctrl shift key bring it here if you want to put some arrow and put the text it's up to you so once this is done you can add some simple animation like fly in animations you can use it so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and fly in you can see here fly in maybe you can put it from left and then this text would appear and that should happen after previous so it's very simple select this one so here maybe instead of this one it should come from right and then this text will come so if i play you can see here the first will come second will come like that third fourth fifth sixth you can do the animation